As a beginner CNC woodworker, you only need four tools to get you started. With these four tools, I believe that you're going to be able to carve most, if not all the projects that you need to complete as a beginner CNC woodworker. If you're just starting out and need to know what bits to get, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this video. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber Pine. And I was just thinking back to when I first got my CNC and I thought that the quarter inch end mill that came with my Shepoko was gonna be the only tool that I needed to do to complete the projects that I wanted to complete. Well, I found out really quickly that I didn't do all the research that I really needed to do. And I also found out really quickly that the quarter inch end mill was not the tool that I needed to be able to complete my project. In this video, we're gonna talk about the four tools that I think that you need that will allow you to complete the majority of the projects that you are going to make. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list. The first two tools that you're gonna need are gonna be end mills. You're going to need the quarter inch end mill and the eighth inch end mill. The quarter inch end mill is a very good tool to get a lot of material out of the way, cleared out in your projects. You're able to still carve some designs, some logos if they're simple circular designs because of the geometry of the end mill, it is round. You need to pay attention to that because it's going to be great for designs that have curves or circles, things like that. And like I said, it's a tool that's going to allow you to remove a lot of material very quickly. The 1 8 inch end mill is going to do the exact same thing, but on a smaller scale. If you are working with smaller logos, designs, images, the 8 inch end mill is going to be a great tool to do the exact same thing, but on a smaller scale. Just keep in mind when you get the eighth inch end mill that you are going to need an eighth inch collet as well. There are two common collet sizes. There is the quarter inch collet and the eighth inch collet. So the quarter inch collet is going to be for your quarter inch end mill and the eighth inch collet is going to be for your eighth inch end mill. There are two different types of end mills to also consider, the upcut end mill and the downcut end mill. The upcut end mill removes the material upward and out. Keep that in mind, the upcut removes up and out, giving you a nice surface on the bottom. But also keep in mind, as it's removing material up and out, it's also going to leave you some edges that are not as clean, as not as smooth. It is going to look as if it's torn out or splintered. So just keep that in mind with the upcut end mill. With the downcut end mill, it's the opposite. It's going to push the material down. You're still going to have a smooth bottom, but also your edges are going to be smooth on top. So as it plunges into the material, you're not going to have that tear out, that splintering. They both serve a purpose. Research a little bit more as to what you need and get the appropriate one. If you get a Shepoko, I believe the quarter inch end mill that you get is going to be an upcut end mill. My recommendation, if you are going to need to pocket something, use the advanced V-carve toolpath to achieve your pocket output. You are able to still use the quarter inch end mill to remove the majority of the material, even if you have some splintering at the top. The second tool in the advanced V-carve toolpath, which is going to be a V-bit, will clean that edge right up. If you need a little bit more information on what the advanced V-carve is, stick around to the end because I'm gonna have some videos that will clear that up for you. The next two tools are gonna to be a pair as well. It's going to be the V-bit, the 60 degree V-bit and the 90 degree V-bit. I personally like the 60 degree V-bit better than the 90. I use it a lot more. It is a workhorse for me. And so this is a great tool to have in your arsenal. So just pick up a 90 degree V-bit as well because you never know when you're going to need it. With the V-bit, you have a multitude of opportunities to create different designs, different texts, different images different lines. Go ahead and take a look at the video at the end of this video. It's gonna clear that up as well. The V-Bit is one of those tools that you are going to hear a lot about and you're going to need it for sure. You can buy the majority of these tools online on Amazon or you can go directly to a manufacturer. It's really all up to you on how much you wanna spend for your tools. The more you're willing to spend, the better quality you are gonna get in the tool. But does that really matter as a beginner? Probably not. Maybe go on the cheaper end while you're getting started. Or if you'd like to go all out and get the best stuff, go ahead and get the better stuff. There are some brands that I stick to. I like Whiteside, Amana, Sky One. Those are the brands that I go with. There are some links down below in the description if you wanna go ahead and pick some of the tools that I am using currently that will help, so help out the channel and I would appreciate that. So it's a very quick video this time around, guys. It's four tools that you need, and I guarantee you that this is going to get you covered for the majority of the projects that you're starting out with. I'll see you guys on the next video.